Hi, I'm Harry, I'm the director of Gram, and this is a Synthra Lisa. It arrived last week, and we're going to build this thing, put this thing together, and uh, print some great stuff with it. Okay, so uh, we unpacked everything, and this is uh, all, all we got. Um, that's the printer itself, of course, the most important part. Uh, the sieve for mixing the powder. Uh, this is a compressor, and we bought one that was re recommended by Synthroid. Uh, it's not part of the package, so you have to order an extra. It's, I think, like 400 euros or 350. It's not very expensive. It's, uh, um, in case you wanna, it's by Knappwolf, and I think it's a 350 silent or something like that. If you write us an email, I'll tell you exactly which one it is. Uh, mm. Yeah, it's the KW250 silent. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Uh, what else did we get? We got the, uh, the cleaning station. And that's, of course, optional. So you can just buy the printer and then you get the essentials with the printer. Uh, um, but the sieve and the, I think the sieve is the sieve part of it. I'm not sure. But anyway, so this was optional. So we ordered this as well. There's like a whole package that they have. And this is not part of it, this is for another printer. Lots of manuals apparently, so uh, I guess we have got some learning to do. And lots of cool gizmos and stuff, so they really hook you up with uh, starter kit, with all the brushes you need for cleaning. Uh, masks, very important when you're handling powder that uh, you don't breathe in the, the particles. So that's really important, gloves for handling. Uh, apparently the, there's uh, it's one thing that you have to assemble I uh, looked at it in the video, there's like a glass pane that you have to put into the top of the machine, so that's, that's for that. And other than that, they have a bunch of useful stuff for handling the powder. I assume all of this is for the um, cleaning station. So this will be a little bit of a, that, that's still an unknown. I'm, I'm curious whether we can uh, uh, set up the, the cleaning station today successfully without a trip to the I don't know, to, the, to a show, to a workshop or something like that. So that will be exciting to find out and uh, let's get started. <laughs> oh yeah, the powder, I forgot about all the powder. So, so you usually don't get this much. Um, this is for the, uh, for the cleaning station, this like cleaning material. Um, uh, this is, this is what, something that you get with the printer and I think you get one more with the printer. We got some more because uh, we ordered it during Form Next and there was a special sale that they had for more powder. So, so we can print lots of parts. <laughs> okay, so the printer is uh, secure with a key that has a serial number on it. I probably shouldn't show this on the video. And uh, then you put the key in the ignition, do this big and turn it. And then it turns on. Great. And it does turn on, so that's fantastic. Okay, so we installed the Synthet Studio software and uh, it uh, offered us the option of updating the printer firmware. So what happened is we have an empty USB drive and uh, it formatted the drive and put the new firmware on it. And now I can uh, take it off and put it into the printer. Okay, we ha already have the printer in the print preparation setting, so uh, uh, state. So I'm going to close the lid again and uh, turn off the printer so I, I, I don't really know I didn't see anything about a, um, a power down sequence in the touchpad so I'm just using the power down button to power it off and now I insert the USB drive and turn it back on and that should start the start of the, the update sequence This is very exciting, isn't it? <laughs> uh, okay, so your update found. Has there been already applied? Okay, so... Uh, okay, so this is great. So the Synthet guys already put in the newest firmware, so we didn't even need to do that, so that's even better. Okay, good. So I guess we power it down again. But it's nice that it recognizes that.
So that's the initial powder bed leveling. So right now it's recording from the feed, uh, from the source area to the build platform and we're waiting for it to even recover the build platform and then the automatic bed leveling is done. Okay, so we, uh, uh, we successfully added the powder. That was a little bit un unusual because it's a, uh, it's a little bit more complex or different than uh, adding filament to a printer or adding just, uh, you know, just adding material like this to a polyjet type printer. Um, so that was a bit uh, unusual, but we managed to do it and uh, uh, worked pretty well. Um, but took a while, the bread leveling took a little while uh, until the printer was over there and yeah, right now we're ready to start printing. So I'm going to press now and so this is the first job. Okay, so uh, we set up the printer, the printer is already printing, um, very easy to do. Then we uh, put together the sieve, the sieve is really easy to operate. It uh, opens manually and you just pour in uh, the overused powder using these uh, utensils over here. And it's very nice that they provided a, 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 close, a box that closes with it. So you can always put your stuff in there and close the lid. So you don't have any uh, open uh, powder, powder covered items lying around so that the powder flies around. Also the sieve itself here is... Um, I think it's quite easy to open. Should be easy. Oh, yeah. there you go. And that's where the container is, uh, where the uh, sieved powder falls into. So that's really easy to operate, looks very robust. And now we set up this uh, station here. So this is the powder cleaning station. And that was a little bit more that it involved an extra item, the compressor, as I already mentioned. But it turned out that it was really, really easy to do. So we just con connected everything up and these. Um, yeah, it's already under pressure, so I don't really want to. Yeah. I don't. I don't really want to um, touch these now because it's already under pressure, so I don't want it to shoot out. But it's really easy to disassemble those. You just pull here and then pull it out. You don't even have to screw anything into place. So that really took much less time than I expected, and was very easy. And. Uh, uh, the sieving station is operated with electricity too, so you have some light in there and uh, you have this uh, manual tool here for cleaning, but you also have, uh, if you look, put it inside, so you have a, a air uh, gun inside and you operate it by pressing on a foot control and then you have these gloves in there and you can clean the part in here. And what we're going to do right now is put in the abrasive material um, that's used for um, to, to shoot uh, that's shot at the pot to clean the surface. So it's uh, blasting actually. It's more than just uh, cleaning it with air. Okay. Well, not nice. Okay. So now, if I, now we can build a sand castle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now do you need, we need, we need to make it work. Okay, you can see here that it's shooting out the, the powder, uh, the sand, or the abrasive material onto the part and that cleans the part and cleans it off any excess powder. So that's standard operation when you're operating an SL, SLS printer. So very nice and available in a small package. Good.
Okay, hi. It's, as you can tell from my clothes, it's the next day. So I printed overnight. Uh, it took about nine hours to print the whole, to print this whole thing. Although of course there was just one part in there, and uh, I think the quality is quite excellent. Uh, if you, you tell me whether you have a good uh, resolution, mm -hmm. so I, I was pleasantly surprised by how good the quality is. And this isn't even the finest resolution. This is uh, 0.125 uh, millimeters layer thickness, and it feels really. Uh, solid feels really strong so this is I would use this for a for a hinge or functional part wherever I would use a polymer part so I'm I'm very excited I'm very uh, happy about the result uh, the process is more involved than with with other process uh, with other processes but I think the output is definitely worth it so thanks very much Bye. <laughs> okay guess that's it oh yeah the cup I forgot the cup the cup too <laughs> Very exciting.